What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to A Beginner's Guide to Dark Souls. So uh, I'm going to show you guys the quickest way to get back to the bonfire from the depths. As you can see, we've only, uh, we just came back up the stairs. Uh, that's the boss room right there, so we're just uh, headed back down the hallway here. So come back out into this uh, big area with the slimes. You can see the rats are still dead. Uh, what you're going to want to do is run over to this area here. And uh, I probably should have shown this in the last video. So uh, you can just run up here, this little passageway, and uh, this door that I tried to open earlier, uh, you can open from this side, obviously. And uh, this is a quick, uh, quick link to the bonfire. So uh, we're going to head back to the bonfire to spend these souls that we just earned. So you can see we have uh, 34,000, so we can uh, level up a few times here. Uh, I'm going to get my dexterity up to 22, and uh, I think I'll bump my vitality up to 20. And, uh, so hold on a minute. Um, what I might do is uh, take one out of vitality and uh, put two in attunement. So now I can use that, uh, that heal spell that I got. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do that. Uh, on a first playthrough, you could want to increase your uh, health a little more, but uh, I feel comfortable with my health like this, uh, my vitality, and uh, we have the heal spell. Insufficient, eh? All right. So it looks like uh, the uh, cost of using this heal spell is increasing every time, so uh, we got to get our faith up to 12 at least now. So that's okay. We'll just leave it tuned for now and uh, move on. So uh, we're gonna head on into Blight Town now. So to get to Blight Town, just uh, head on back down towards the Gaping Dragon boss fight room. And uh, you're gonna want to go over to this uh, big door over here next to where the merchant was. Uh, let's see if he has anything different for us. Probably not. Hi, Shabbat. We meet again. Nope. And uh, we're pretty good on equipment, so we're just going to leave him there. So I uh, head over, over to this door, and you can see here, use Blight Town Key. So the atmosphere goes green and eerie, and we've now entered Blight Town. Uh, this area is widely known as a death trap, but if you follow my guide, I will hopefully be able to get you through here without dying once. So, uh, head on down this ladder, slide down with B, of course, and uh, head on down here. And uh, you're going to fight these giant type enemies, you can see them right up there, they have, look, there he is, right there, they do this roar attack. Does, it's not really an attack, he just kind of roars. I'll show you how to cheese them the first time, and I'm going to fight the other two. I'll show you how to uh, kill them without basically doing anything. Get rid of these this, uh, obstructions right here, and just stand right against this pole. As you can see, he's just kind of walking to the pole. They'll all do this. I've done this multiple times. He'll just walk into that pole forever, as you can see. So just wait and wait. See, you can kind of move them around a little bit if you walk back and forth. And if you walk over here... Well, yeah. normally if you stand here for long enough, uh, what will happen is, is they'll get... Yeah, there you go. See, they lose interest in you, and they just turn around and uh, commit suicide. So uh, you can cheese them that way if you're having trouble with them. Their weapon causes poison buildup when they hit you. So uh, if you're having trouble, you can equip this spider shield that we picked up. I did mention last video it completely blocks poison buildup. So if, uh, if you're having trouble getting and you're being poisoned all the time, you can use that shield. So uh, that's the cheese method of killing these guys. If you want to kill them the normal way, which we're going to do now, I'll show you how. So you can see we're in Blight Town. pretty slow. Uh, you can actually backstab them, I'm not going to, so what I want to do is bait and tap, see, quite slow. Get a few hits in. You can see I can stagger them after four hits, so uh, spears don't stagger very well. See their hits take up a good amount of stamina. 
And uh, you can see their back is really easy to get to, so I'm going to try to go, yep, you can actually get a backstab on them. So, try to get at least one on them. Pretty easy to do. They have a huge back. So, if there's one down. Uh, okay. Uh, we can see someone moving behind him. If you, Sometimes if you get too close to the bottom down here, you can accidentally aggro uh, some of the enemies from down here. And I think that might have been what happened, so I'm going to try to... I gotta equip my arrows. Yep. So I equip your arrows here. Uh, I didn't mention before, you can actually put other arrows here. Uh, and when you press Y to equip your bow and you zoom in, well, you don't have to be zoomed in. If you press the left and right trigger while you have your bow two handed, you will swap arrows. So, pretty useful. So, we're going to uh, shoot this giant to get his attention. i see if I can backstab him off the edge there, that'd be pretty funny. And that doesn't look like it's happening, but uh, some good damage. Oh, got hit there. You can see when you uh, block the damage, even if your shield doesn't have 100% build up, it, uh, it doesn't build up as much. When they do that, it's a very good time to attack them. I'm not sure what that does. I'm not sure if that increases their damage or what that actually does, or if it's just uh, for show. Let's see. Uh, these guys drop dung pies. What those do is uh, if you throw them at an enemy, it can toxic them, but it also causes toxic buildup on you. And what toxic is is basically a much stronger version of poison, and uh, we're going to probably encounter that quite soon. Come over here, we're going to pull the uh, main enemy of the area, these guys. They're just, uh, they're actually poisonous too, so they're pretty easy to kill. Just uh, don't let them attack you. They have a nasty grab attack. We might get grabbed later, so I can show that. Uh, Getting close enough can pull this guy. I was going to use the bow, but didn't need to. Try to stay behind these uh, barrels right here that he just smashed. Uh, it's not good that he smashed them. I'll show you why in a minute. Alright, let's go over here. Alright, you see that little white thing flying at us? You can uh, kind of see there, right in the corner over there. Uh, that is a toxic dart. Uh, spitter, it'll usually toxic you in one or two hits, which is quickly lead to death if you don't have those blooming purple moss. So uh, what you're going to want to do is, probably for this whole area, is put the uh, purple moss and the blooming purple moss. I did say earlier to pick up at least two of these. Uh, and the uh, great thing about the spider shield is since it blocks 100% poison, toxic is included. So uh, what you can do is equip this shield just for now and run over here. As you can see, the toxic darts are doing nothing. So, they actually have, a, you know, almost no health. Take them out. They give you purple moss clumps and sometimes blooming moss, so it's very useful. Watch out behind you. These guys come up. But we've already shown that they're quite easy. Do some strong attacks here. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll try a jump attack here. Yep. If you don't remember how to do the jump attack, it's uh, forward on the... Uh, left stick and the uh, strong attack button at the same time. So there's two ways to go here. Uh, you can go over this bridge, we'll just walk over here. Because as you can see it's quite a wacky shack. So be very careful when walking across that. There's another enemy here. Gonna stab him to death. As you can see the frame rate does drop in this area so uh, be warned. Some people complain about the lag, I'm, I don't really mind. I've seen much worse lags in other, in other video games, so uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our regular shield back on for now. So run over to this uh, little area here and you're gonna see an item down here. You're gonna wanna drop down and get it. And this is the uh, shadow set, it's pretty cool. It's a uh, ninja gear basically, you look like a ninja. It has really high poison resist, it has decent bleed resist I think. So uh, it's also really, really light. I think it's the lightest armor in the set, in the, in the game, sorry. Uh, or if not one of the lightest. So, uh, and it upgrades with Twinkling Titanite, not regular shards. So if you're looking for a different kind of armor set, you can use that, we're not going to. So head on down here, uh, head around this corner. I do think there's an enemy here. Nope. So uh, these guys can't get to us, but you're gonna wanna roll forward here. 
Uh, now they can get to us, so... You can see their jump attack there does do a decent amount of damage, so uh, be cautious. I haven't upgraded a lot of my gear since I put on some new set pieces of armor. So that's why I'm taking a nice amount of damage. Be wary of these dogs, they actually spew fire. So do not let them do that, you can usually get uh, stun locked by the fire. I know that sounds weird, but uh, you actually can. Watch out for this guy here. Let's see if, yep, you can get a backstab on him. Pretty easily. Alright, and uh, we're going to come over here to our first bonfire. So, uh, I urge you, uh, I'm not going to rest at this instantly. Just hit the bonfire, don't rest at it. I'm going to show you guys something before you respawn all the enemies. Head on back up here. Um, there's an enemy actually in this barrel. I don't know why. If you smash it, he'll come out. So, uh, if you don't want to fight him, you don't have to smash it. Just checking for any other items I may have missed. Yep, there's one over there. Pick that up. Actually, I can just go get that now. So roll off here. I do think it's just a soul item. Alright. Um, actually, uh, if you look over here, I do think it's here. Um, I'm going to check. Yeah. No. I do remember. Or not. There's a toxic dart thrower around here. I thought he was closer. I guess not. Oh well. You're going to want to watch out. So that wasn't the only toxic dart thrower. I'll be very careful around here. So uh, we're going to head on back up the ladder. my way slightly. That's okay. We'll just take the long way around. Alright, so back on track. Well, someone just killed themselves. So, uh, there's an item here, grab it, I missed it before, another large soul. Um, so, to get that item down there, you actually have to walk across here to get it. Because if you come from the top and drop down here, those boards right down there are not stable, they break instantly and you fall down. You won't die from the fall, but uh, you'll fall into a different area. So uh, you're going to want to watch out there because it's covered with enemies, so you'll probably die from the enemies down there, so don't fall from here, go around. Head on back up here, and now I'm going to show you guys how to get an item. You can see there's an item over there on that ledge down there. The only way to get there is you have to make a running jump from here over there. It's fairly easy, but a lot of new players miss it. So smash these just to get them out of your way, and uh, run, and at the edge, jump. And you should make it, see I made it quite easily, and pillage this corpse, and you'll get the Aieto, which is a katana. Uh, I do believe I have the stats to wield it, I'm not going to use it, it's a pretty good katana, it's shorter than the other katana, the Uchi katana, but uh, I do believe it's a slightly faster, and it's, uh, it's a pretty good weapon. We're not going to use it, of course, you can use it if you want. Like I said, it's good, I think it has a 20 dex requirement. Weapon. So now we're going to come and rest at this bonfire. Level up one? No. Nope. Uh, we're going to save our soul items for later in case we need them. It's always good to save them for uh, when you get to a blacksmith. Your soul items in case you need uh, just a few more souls, maybe to buy, sh to buy some shards. So we're going to head on this way. Head down here and watch out. There is some uh, enemies. Oh, Jesus. I think, thought he hit me with his grab attack there, but apparently not. So watch out. You can see I can poke both of them here. Let my stamina come back. This one's down. Uh, that one was actually different. Uh, I'll show you in a second. He's holding, uh, well, he was holding like a staff looking thing. Uh, those ones are slightly more dangerous, I believe. They uh, do a more dangerous grab attack. They uh, also have a chance to drop a pretty good. Uh, 
Sorry, there's a fire dog here. As you can see, shooting fire. Uh, they have a chance to drop souls of a lost undead, which is uh, quite interesting. So, uh, spear isn't the best weapon for fighting these guys, except for the uh, strong attack, because it kind of whips over their head. So, there's an item over here. Be very careful when you get it. I'm being overly cautious, but, uh, yep, you can see it's a uh, blooming purple moss clump. Three. So uh, if you're missing some, you can pick some up there. So we now have five, which is more than you'll probably need in this area. So we're going to head over to one of the most dangerous areas in Blight Town. Uh, this is a bridge is not sturdy at all. As you can see, walk across this bridge very carefully. Because as you can see, it's quite wacky shack bridge. Uh, very dangerous if you run across. Jeez. Um, the best thing to do is uh, actually stop when it moves. As you can see, you just kind of move with it. Uh, fire dog here. You can block the fire with your shield. And now I'm going to poke him. So, fire dog down. And head on over here. Now, this is a hilarious area that screwed me over when I was first playing the game. I thought you could do something over here, but it's just, uh, because there was a sign over here that said, you know, try jumping. But, uh, there's nothing there. It's just a bunch of nothing. Head on over here. The thing you're really after is over here. So, uh, pick up this, which is a humanity. Uh, I don't know, you could be running low on humanity at this point. Uh, humanities are always good to find, and that's, uh, I think the only humanity in Blight Town. So, Definitely pick that one up. So we're going to head over across the Wacky Shack Bridge again. Once you get to this point, you can usually run across safely once you get to the uh, wider boards. And we're back at the bonfire. I'm going to go ahead and rest at it to refill our Estus since we're going to be heading in the uh, completely different direction. Holy leg. Yeah, it can get some bad around here. It's usually when your screen is looking at multiple torches at once, at once, it causes the lag. Or just very close to a torch. So uh, head over here. You can see there's some fire dogs up there. You can see the red. So uh, be cautious around this corner. There's an enemy right there. So. You can get his attention and he'll come over here. And he goes down and uh, the dogs are coming. So I'm going to use my cool strong attack here. When they stop uh, and don't seem to be doing anything for a few, few seconds, that's when they're doing their uh, fire breath attack. Alright. Now I know for a fact that up there where I've been looking and where I was shooting... Oh, Jesus. Uh, there is a toxic dart shooter. Hold on a minute. I just realized that I uh, never kindled that fire, but actually I don't think I'm going to. I'll probably be fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on that uh, spider shield to block the poison because I don't really feel like getting toxic. So what you're going to want to do is come over here. There's uh, two enemies over here. Yeah, you can see the toxic dart's already coming out. Oh, I just blocked that attack, but didn't take any uh, stamina damage, so it's kind of weird. Oh, Jesus. Yep, see, there's the grab attack. Spamming the uh, attack buttons. Try to break it sooner. Not sure if that works. Jesus, need to heal. Need to heal. That was a risky heal. Being kind of reckless here. That's okay. Alright. So, as you can see, there was a toxic guy up here. Uh, you can shoot him from here. Hold on a minute. You can usually shoot him from around here once you spot him. But, uh, we're just going to go around and kill him the, uh, the melee way. Since you guys might not have a bow, or a ranged in any way. So, just drop down here. And uh, head on over here. You can see there's enemies crawling around, crawling up ladders. There's a soul of a proud knight. 
Here's an enemy. Let's see if we can knock him off the cliff. Down you go. Yep. All right. Now we're gonna head on down here. Is he not dead? No, he didn't die from that. Oh, take him out. Head on down here. Watch out. There is a toxic guy here. So uh, pull out your shield. And uh, he actually was like, screw this, I'm going to kill myself. Fuck it. So, cool. We got some stuff for free. Head on over here. There's another enemy. Be careful, it's uh, pretty narrow over here. Being reckless, letting myself get hit. And uh, you're going to head down here and you're going to find one of Blight Town's best treasures. This is the Eagle Shield. Uh, the Eagle Shield is a great shield. It's the first great shield you'll find. Uh, usually the first great shield you'll find. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it only requires 16 strength. Usually great shields require much more. Uh, it doesn't block 100% of physical, only 95. That was changed in a patch because it was kind of overpowered before. Uh, it blocks really good lightning, well, decent lightning, and has uh, great shields have really high stability. So you can see its base stability is much higher than my shield is right now, and it's not even upgraded. Uh, so... Uh, the thing is, you cannot parry with a great shield. You have to do a shield bash with it. So we're probably not going to use great shields this playthrough. They're very good for PVE. Uh, they, you know, they barely take up any stamina when you block with them. So uh, very useful to have. The dead guy there. So head on back up here. I'm going to switch back to my uh, regular shield. And here's some enemies about. Head on down here. Oh, yep, he's coming up. So, let's let him come up. It's very useful to know these enemies have, I'm pretty sure, no poison. I basically, I remember staggering them around with a dagger before, so, uh, yeah. Uh, before you head on down there, head over to this ladder. And now we're going to come up and find that toxic dart guy I was talking about earlier who's shooting us from up here. And uh, I did just remember something. Oh wait, another one of these guys. Oh no, do not knock. No! And that's death. <laughs> so yeah, pretty dangerous area. Uh, yep, enemies everywhere. So, uh, I will meet you guys back where we died. Alright, and we're back where we died. Uh, so, that was the first PvE death of the playthrough, because the other death uh, was by a player. Kind of sad, I was hoping not to die there, and it was by gravity too, unfortunately. Gravity, gravity, the biggest killer in this game, of course. So, uh, we're going to head on over here. wall a bit there, and I uh, do believe, yep, there's an enemy in here. So, just poke them to death, of course. Head on down here. And uh, you're going to come behind this crazy wall creature that you may have spotted earlier. Um, I do believe you can roll under it from this direction. I'm going to try. Um, mm. yeah, it's immune from behind. I'm gonna try to roll under it or something. What? Am I stuck? Am I stuck? Am I actually stuck? Oh, this is fantastic. Oh man, I love this! Yay! The fuck? Well, this is uh, this is interesting as shit. Come on! All right, so it looks like we're stuck. Are you serious, game? This is fantastic. Try for 
few more seconds. Oh, we can jump out. Okay, cool. Alright. So, don't do that. Don't fucking go in that corner there. So, yeah, it looks like we can't roll under it. <laughs> so, head on back around. Speed this up. Alright, we're gonna come here. Uh, don't go down towards that item yet, so we're on the other side of this monster. Uh, sounds like we aggroed some uh, enemies though, so keep watch. Um, this thing is kind of annoying to take down with melee. It does a crazy grab attack. I think it could throw you off the cliff. So what you can just do if you want is cheese it with arrows. Is that doing damage? Yeah. Oh, I think we were actually doing damage from it from behind. And I couldn't see the, the health bar. Because uh, it's almost dead. Huh. So, yeah, you can kill it from behind. I just kind of did this for no reason. But anyway, yeah, it's dead. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't respawn. And uh, I may have not mentioned that the toxic guys, they don't respawn either. And uh, you can pick up Pyromancy Power Within. Uh, this is pretty good, even if you're not a Pyromancer. Uh, what it can do is increases your damage by, I think, 40 or 50%. Uh, for I think it's a hundred seconds and it also drains your health by 1% for that hundred seconds So uh, you're gonna have to heal yourself, but it's a really big damage boost So if you need a damage boost and you're comfortable, you know losing health every second You can use that so head on down here pick up a large soul And now uh, we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna fight uh, another of these giant fellows Oh, yeah he does have a friend. Oh man. Yeah, you can see there. <sighs> yep, that's another death. So, I will meet you guys back here. Alright, so we've returned back to where we were. Sorry about all the deaths, guys. Uh, what you're going to want to do is actually pull this guy. Oh man, camera, why? Alright, pull this guy up here. Because uh, you don't want to pull him and his friend at the same time. And the uh, best way to handle him is uh, come up here and you can cheese him yet again. But uh, we're not going to cheese him by having him kill himself. We're going to do a plunge attack. So, wait for him to head on over here. Oh uh, man, he's stuck in the wall. That's great. So, yeah, don't let him uh, knock you off the cliff here. Alright, we're just going to try to fight him here since he doesn't want to hit Maybe he'll fall off the cliff first. No. We're just gonna go for a back so you can see it's pretty easy to get one. You can bait that attack. I just really wanna get rid of this guy. Sorry guys for the backstabs, but he's going down. Don't wanna waste any more Estus on this. That guy can be quite annoying. So come down here and he'll pull his friend, who uh, curiously didn't pull until all the way over here this time. Alright, and head over here. And head down this ladder to the white light. Uh, if you look down here, there's an item down there on that corpse. That is the whip. Uh, I'm not going to go grab it, but I'm going to show, I'm showing you guys where it is. Uh, it's kind of a crappy weapon to be honest, but if you like, if you, I don't know, if you want to use a whip, you can go get that. So you can just drop down there, you'll survive the fall. You might want to heal up first, but uh, we're going to head on through this white light. Oh, fooled you. Thought it was a boss, eh? Nope, we've just come to the uh, second part of Blight Town, but uh, I'm actually going to call the episode here, so... Uh, I will see you guys next time for the second part of Blighttown.